Okay, let's go down. Annyeong everyone, this is Ju from Soju Cars and today I'm gonna review a bus. If you're new to the channel, thank you for watching this video. In this channel, you and I will be learning about any cars that are being sold here in the Philippines. If you haven't subscribed, please do consider subscribing. And today I'm here in Hyundai Manila Bay. Thank you Hyundai Manila Bay for letting me test out this unit and also review it. If you want to purchase your Hyundai units, please do contact the people here in the description section below. And with that, we're gonna start. We say, Shija. The 2020 Hyundai County costs 3,148,000 pesos SRP. Is that a fair price for a 29-seater? Please do let me know in the comment section below. Usually in Korea, these cars or these minivans are used for taekwondo classes, piano classes, math classes, all those after-school activities. And it is actually fun to see this in the Philippines itself. There are other competitors in other brands such as Mitsubishi, Fuso Rosa, and there's also one from Toyota, it's called the Coaster. They differ in price, they also kind of differ inside. And Hyundai has the best inside. So I'll be showing you around the exterior, the interior, some of its features, and driving impressions. Thank you for watching this and, and please do consider subscribing, all right? Thank you. If you have other competitors, what would they be? Please do tell me in the comment section below as well. So Hyundai, they do have passenger vehicles and they do have commercial vehicles. They have trucks like trailer heads, minibus and others. So if you want to check them out, please do visit them in their social media and also their website. The 2020 Hyundai County has a 4-liter diesel engine that can do 140 horsepower and 40 newton meters of torque. This one is a 5-speed manual transmission. Just to demonstrate how easy it is to go up and get down, just hold on to this grab handle right here, but that way you still feel a bit unsafe. So my cheat sheet is hold the handle steering wheel and the grab handle then go up like that it's not so bad the window is a sliding type which is a no-brainer because when you're driving this one you really need to focus on driving this is the dashboard area honestly speaking the interior looks like a star x it doesn't look like a truck I've seen the Mitsubishi, I've seen the coaster. This one has the best interior by far. And also amenities. Look, <laughs> caution, air conditioner. Wow, look at the size of the visors. That's crazy. During winter season, operate the air conditioning system at least two or three times a month for protection of internal parts. Oh, and it's, and all the passengers have their own air vents. They also get their own reading lights. That is amazing. Look at these things. <laughs> this is so cool. And look at this, they even come with ashtray. That's interesting. <laughs> With all the nets here, the flooring. This is one cool minibus. Like you can have an Alford, right? But then like, what if you say, I have a minibus, ow. That's another level. <laughs> but this thing over here, 
it really hurts i've bumped on them plenty of times already Annyeong everyone, this is Ju from Soju Cars and I am gonna be test driving this Hyundai County. This is a 4.0 diesel engine that does 140 horsepower and 40 newton meters of torque. It has 5 speed manual gearbox. Put on your seat belt. Okay. And adjust your seat. Now, this is a bus that has manual side mirrors, but they are huge. Okay, they are huge. Oh, the steering surprisingly feels very soft. Oh, the horn is like a tickle. But I think that the reason behind that is because this car is so intimidating. They don't want people to get super shocked. Normally, bus horns are really, really loud. This car actually has a normal kind of side brake. It's just on the left. Just like in your, I think in some European cars, it's also there on the left. Here we go, guys. This is it, Pancit. Does this car have insurance, sir? <laughs> Yo, let's go! Wow! <laughs> you might think this is going to be a slow car. No, you don't feel that it lacks power. Maybe if you have a full load of people, then it will be a bit different. But as of now, I'm enjoying this drive. <laughs> this is really fun, look. Oh, so the the steering, it kind of needs more turning than your our usual um, passenger cars because I guess it's for safety because this kind of trucks, when you do a sudden curve, it, it might flip over. Let's go, it's green light. Let me try to go fast. <laughs> That's the fastest I can go. But when I'm in the second gear, Immediately, I can feel that power. There. The view is sempre commanding view. <laughs> it has side mirrors, and there's also a, like a round mirror that shows the front. Also, at the back, there is a mirror. So, one thing that we really want to see in this car or in this bus is the head unit <laughs> maybe it would be really nice if we have a head unit that shows the back but i guess we can have that done after market flash news guys this car has 700,000 pesos discount all right it's either you get the 700 uh, peso discounted or you can also get a four door Sedan, Mall of Asia, sir. Bayad. <laughs> so today I'm not collecting any Bayad. It's a free ride, everyone. This is a 28 plus one. So currently we're going 40. Oh, uh, obviously you will hear vibration and stuff in this bus because this is not a, a, your average passenger vehicle. This car <laughs> means business when we talk about plus 28 uh, seats <laughs> please don't forget to like and subscribe this video okay the experience is surreal and it has lots of buttons most of them the lighting the cabin lights the air condition this one has a front blower rear blower it has a separate dial for the air condition system these are the things I've never experienced before and yeah very gimmicky very gimmicky although it doesn't have the seats that i like the ones you see in big buses like the one that like goes up and down like it has like air suspension or something on the seat i want to experience that very soon uh if you're talking about this kind of buses maybe uh, people are just thinking you know like a very bare no style it's just you know everything's plastic and stuff but not for this one it has wood trims uh, it might be plastic, but it still looks like a wood. Let's go. Okay, just be careful. This is my first U-turn in this Hyundai County. Easy. It's like... Uh, <laughs> it's like uh, making a U-turn of... Like a Star X. I mean, 
it feels that easy it feels that easy honestly guys so this is how a normal passenger will be riding the Hyundai County and we have a Kuya driver is gonna let us in and it's gonna open whoa well actually I'm here on the sidewalk so I can easily go up like this really easy the headroom is crazy I'm like 177 centimeter or 5, 10 or 11 but I can just walk around like this is my room or something and then our Kuya driver can also shut it automatically very easily and there's a buzzer saying be careful all right this car also has sensors here now and most probably if there's somebody here it will not operate because there's a huge steel bar that might actually hit the person so that is a very good attention to safety so we will test the safety system right now okay so i'm here standing on the sensor oh it stopped look at that did you see it stop you don't see this in other brands i'm sure okay so if i am still here and while it's closing when i go down then i go down whoa it stopped that's amazing details too safety wow nice Hyundai so and uh, it just brings back the childhood memories whenever you see this clock this digital clock this color specifically reminds me that I am inside a bus and let's just count the number of air conditioned vents in this Okay, where did I start? <laughs> you, guys, you guys do the counting, all right? So in case you're wondering, here is the cargo area and this is most probably the key for the cargo. And it comes in manual. Let's try it. Wow, so entire thing goes up. I mean, it turns. Are you ready? I'm excited. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> So this is the cargo space. So these are the tools, jack and, oh, there's a jack. And more tools here. Uh, honestly speaking, it doesn't have the biggest cargo for this kind of vehicle. But of course, you can also bring the luggage inside the cabin. For you to close the cargo, just put it down, make sure your fingers are cleared. And easy as that. And the sound is like a normal trunk when you and this is where you actually release the reserve and as you can see there are lift suspension here or lift springs there at the back and there are four wheels here at the back all right and the sizes are 275 or 17.5s i've never seen a 17.5 in my life all right <laughs> And it comes with a wheel cover. There's that hardcore usual truck wheels. Then more vents for the gas. And we have more reflectors. And this is the turn signal actually. And then what else can we see? Of course, halogen lamp, park light, headlight. And there's also the high beam turn signal and a fog lamp as well. There you go, these are the lighting system, huge halogen types. We also have a fog lamp, fog lamp. Is it is, oh yeah, 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 and then headlight. Okay, yawn. Huge Hyundai logo. Of course, this is the mirror that I was talking about. And it's a big mirror as well. There's more visibility because you have a window here. It's all sliding and nice. Blower one, blower two, aircon, all right. Blower one, blower two, aircon. The reverse is here on the left top and not here. Okay, so be careful. And the steering wheel is actually in urethane. And this is the horn. <laughs> and here for the washing of the windows and the wiper. Well, this is a choke. So in like winter times, you might want to increase the RPM so that you can actually start the car easily because when the engine or the car is too cold and you might need more of those kick later on 
and here are things here the ventilator it says here stop CIR vent suction and exhaust all right and this one is the control of <laughs> you see this one actually you can adjust the steering wheel in this kind of commercial vehicles there are many other manufacturers they omit this one all right they omit this one there you go the light so see what happens if i turn on and off see that so the driver basically has all the power this is the door door open and close and what is this okay there's an ashtray also lights fog lamp another light so there are three and this is the 12 volt right here this is a one din type of uh, radio but that you can upgrade and cargo and more stuff more stuff everywhere grab handle also here oh and also a map light right there and look at this this is the biggest room mirror i've seen in my life <laughs> so there you go this is what it would feel when you are driving a bus okay the space is everywhere and there are so many new things that i've never experienced before so it is extra fun as well and then of course the engine is inside here it's a four liter engine diesel engine euro four okay so euro four so clean air clean air you won't be seeing smoke okay let's drive again and let's see what it feels like being a passenger in this county Woo, it's it's so hot outside good thing i'm inside this county <laughs> it feels good to be driven again Ay, nako. okay we are actually on a paved road not well but still paved and yun because this car or this minibus has big tires you actually have better comfort and lesser road noise and like that one like those uh, vibrating lines when you are in some cars and especially you are in a big car like this you will hear plenty of vibrations coming from you never know where but they do but this one no very minimal meaning all these window panels are also very tight that's a very good thing in some cars my goodness you will hear lots of vibrations and especially in commercial vehicles like this one so this one is actually uh, missing the grab handles but in Korea you don't see those grab handles you just actually hold on to this one and you are not allowed to actually stand when the vehicle is moving Woo. nice it's nice being driven around in this minibus Woo. and what does it feel like to be here at the back where the bad people the makulit ones uh, the makulit ones usually stay right okay <laughs> Yon, this is the worst part. This is the worst part to you know feel ah, comfort. This is it. <laughs> but you know this is very normal for a bus. The back seat, I ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Make sure if you want better ride comfort, you stay right beside the driver. Okay. Like it very much. Remember. 3 million 148,000 pesos only but then you still get a 700,000 peso discount guys get this if you have a big garage get this I don't know how many people will watch this but definitely it is a good experience and it is very different from other brands this one is widely used in Korea and this one is really a proven vehicle see the visibility is so nice right and there is also a place where you can add the curtains see you have those hooks okay just get a curtain and it will look like a proper tourist bus right. so we have a hyundai county owner here that i bumped into and i want to listen well uh, if the car is nice or not so uh sir 
sorry, sorry. <laughs> so can you tell us uh, uh, what are the good things and the bad things about owning a county? Okay naman po siyang gamitin, komportable. Uh, yung makina, okay po ba yung okay power? Okay naman yung makina niya, yung power, okay naman. Tapos yung durability, yung mga materials, ano? Kasi okay, uh, matibay naman siya. Matibay po. Matibay. Uh, pa, yung kumusta naman yung cabin, yung mga atmosphere, yung condition, yung materials. Parang, is it uh, commercial, commercial, commercial or parang passenger din? Parang passenger din, okay din siya. Di ba? <laughs> okay din. So you're a happy owner or a uh, unhappy owner? Happy owner, of Okay, course. so do you want to give a shout out to your wife, your family, someone? <laughs> you can do that. Shout out sa family ko sa Laguna. Okay. Mga anak ko. And then, ingat, ingat kayo dyan. And then your name is? Christian. Malapit na ako umuwi. May vaccine na. <laughs> ah, thank you everyone for watching this video. This was a very short review of the Hyundai County 28 plus 1. So if you want to purchase this unit, please do contact the person listed here in the description section below. And thank you again so much, Hyundai Manila Bay, for letting me test out this unit. If you have any questions, if you have any inquiries, please do leave them in the comment section below. All right? And with that, I will see you in the next video. May your dreams come true. Annyeong!